Was it year one or year two when you started getting at least one car per day? How much did you charge? So actually my first year, I still remember clearly to this day, I started offering washes for $30. So $30 I was doing inside and out, vacuuming, wiping down, and then I would wash the full exterior, clean the wheels and tires. It would take me like two hours and I charged $30. $15 an hour, I was losing money. Hey guys, it's Mike with Ray No Soto Detailing. Today, I'm gonna be answering a few questions that you guys sent in on Instagram, pretty much, you know, when it comes to like business or detailing, and I wanna get to know all of you, and I want you guys to get to know a little bit more about myself. Um, you know, I know a lot of you have questions, a lot of you wanna learn more about detailing, or just wanna learn more about myself or my business. So today, that's exactly what we're gonna be doing. So somebody asks, how much do you reinvest back into your company monthly? So that's a great question. Um, personally, myself, I don't have like an exact number where I reinvest back into my company monthly. I really look at it as a case by case basis or month by month basis. Let's say this month I'll make, uh, I have a thousand dollars profit left over that I could either, you know, let's say I'll save $500 and then another $500, either I'll buy a machine I've been needing or maybe I'll spend some money in marketing. So I'll invest maybe in some marketing costs, maybe some new camera gear, like you guys are looking at now, we're getting more quality. So uh, investing back into either marketing, um, into some products, something that will help me get a little bit faster or maybe some better results in the detailing process. That's what I would reinvest back into monthly. Tony Lux Wash asks, how do I get my voice to be as deep as yours? <laughs> That's pretty funny. Uh, I guess it's God given. I, I don't know if there's anything that you can do. Maybe take some tea. I'm not sure. <laughs> Got another question right here. Do you teach paint correction? So sometimes we do teach paint correction. Pretty soon we will be offering courses and some paint correction classes at H2 Auto Detail Supply. Um, they're gonna be either in Covina or Ontario, as far as I know right now. Follow H2 Auto pages on Instagram and you'll be able to see um, when we're gonna do another paint correction class. And uh, you know, if I will be there, you know, we'll be training and teaching you how to do some paint correction. X Pros Auto Detail asks, what's a good time to take lunch? <laughs> For me, um, I like to get started around like nine, work until about like 12 p.m. Um, and then I'll eat lunch like 12, 12.30 sometimes. Honestly, the best time to eat lunch is when I'm driving to my next shop. <laughs> Aquino's Mobile Detail asks, when are you dropping some merch? Um, I don't know if I will be dropping merch. That's that's something to think about. You know, I, personally myself, I don't know if I have great ideas for like merch. I'm not sure if like people would want to wear something like this, um, especially just because I, I do plan on rebranding in the next like year or two. So I'm not sure if I'm going to keep this name. Aquino's Mobile Detail also asked, what's been the hard part of detailing ever since you started? Not overwhelming yourself. I think one of the hardest parts about detailing since I've started is actually learning and getting accustomed to how many hats you wear as a business owner. You know, you're doing this, you're doing that. Let's say you're doing branding, you're doing marketing, you're doing detailing, you're doing sales, you're following up with clients. You wear all of these different hats in the business. And I think that's been the hardest thing. Um, it's, it's, it becomes over, overwhelming when you're new to business, um, is doing so many different things in a business. It does get overwhelming, it's hard. And it's really important that over time, you grow as a person and then you'll be able to handle all of those things and handle all of the stress. Um, you become to grow that as a person and it takes a while. Magic Mike's detail asks, what's your beauty routine? <laughs> if I had one, I'd be sharing it, but I don't, I just wake up, wash my face, uh, take a shower, I come back home, take a shower. That's pretty much it, nothing crazy. I go to the gym, yeah. Top tier auto detail asks the best app to edit and also to make reviews on. My favorite app for editing my own videos, if I feel like editing my own um, Instagram like short videos, I'll use CapCut, that's a great one. Besides that, things like YouTube, um, I'll outsource editing just because I don't want to do the editing myself. It is a lot of work and sometimes I rather be focusing on growing my business. Top tier auto detail also asks tips to ensure customers write reviews. Um, pretty much I would ask for customer satisfaction, make sure that they're happy, satisfied with their service, and then, um, you know, incentivize them to write a review either like just with the fact that you're going forth, you know, leading with your best service, um, letting them be happy with your service and making sure that they're even happy with your service. That's, I think, one of the best ways to make sure that they're gonna write a review for you. Top tier auto detail also asks, would you say it's important to get an LLC? Um, that's completely depending on your condition. For my first year and a half in business, I did not have an LLC just because I was starting out in business. I didn't know, you know, how long I was gonna do it. I didn't know what it's gonna be like if I needed an LLC. I wasn't even making enough profits to even decide that. So pretty much I was just working with a DBA and uh, some liability insurance. That's pretty much good enough when you're starting. Uh, once you wanna legitimize things, make sure that you're protecting your assets and you wanna make sure that you pay your taxes right and save some write-offs, then I would say, you know, you can register as an LLC. Ray is the entrepreneur, he says, done with a detail, but single mom says she doesn't have any money. What are my options? <laughs> that's, that's funny. First of all, this wouldn't happen because I asked for deposits up front. But if it did happen, I make her come work with me. She'd have to wash some cars for me and then she could make it up from there. AZ1 Mobile Detail asks, what do you think about shiny car stuff? Do you know of any alternatives? 
Um, personally, myself, I don't like shiny car stuff for my use. Maybe I would recommend it for somebody who has an older beat up car, maybe like a 2005, 2010, like Honda Civic or like a Camry. That doesn't necessarily, um, it wouldn't benefit too much for my full paint job if the car is not worth the value. Or let's say you're working with a used car dealership and you want to make sure that you're just making a car look better and not really fixing the problem. Great. It's a temporary relief. It's a band-aid. It works well for that. In my business, I wouldn't use it uh, just because I do offer detail services. UL Mobile Detailing asks, do you have a regular nine to five before becoming a full-time detailer if so where great question a lot of people ask that um actually before this i did not have a full nine to five i've actually never had a nine to five job um, i've been very lucky and blessed that i guess i was born uh, with an entrepreneur gene i'm not too sure i started uh, becoming an entrepreneur at the young age of about 13 years old i started feeling the need for some money just because i experienced a lot of uh, struggle you know in my family growing up and i started reselling a lot of like uh designer clothes hype clothes i had an online store where i would resell a lot of clothes and that's pretty much what i did for a couple of years made some good money with that and then started falling in love with cars around like 15 16 and then i've been doing detailing for four years um ever since so i'm 20 years old now so pretty much i never did have a nine to five um, you know, I, I thank God. I know a lot of people do have a lot of nine to fives and you just completely respectable. I recommend a lot of people have nine to fives. You shouldn't leave your nine to five just to jump to a business because it can support you in the really hard moments. Myself, I know a lot of times I probably should have had a nine to five just because I did struggle um, starting on business and relying on it and trying to push for it too hard when I could have had that safety net of a nine to five and I didn't. Um, I did that being naive, you know, working, overworking myself and wanting to push myself and test my limits. Um, but especially if you have necessity, you got bills to pay, you got a mortgage, uh, you know, kids to feed, you wanna make sure that you're gonna cover them. And as of myself, you know, I was young, I didn't have any kids or anything like that. So luckily it was just myself to, to support. And luckily that wasn't, I guess it wasn't too difficult, you know, compared to a lot of people. <laughs> Hustle details, why is the inside of your van blue? Very funny. I, I know exactly what you're talking about, Arturo. The inside of my van is blue because it goes well with my branding. It doesn't mean anything. It doesn't, like, I, it just came up with blue. When I was thinking about my logo, when I first started my business, I was just thinking green. Like, I've seen so many greens. That kind of goes with landscaping. It doesn't really think about detailing. I've seen a lot of reds. Um, no shade to anybody. I, I love the color red. I would have done it if it wasn't for them. But I, I love blue. Blue is a great color. Um, it's clean, it's simple, it's elegant, and it goes with, you know, water, car washing, detailing. Uh, so blue, that's pretty much why I chose the ink inside of the van. Vanessa Silva, great friend. She asked your do's and don'ts um, that you would have done when you first started and why. That's a great question. When I first started, what I would have done differently is I probably would have started marketing on social media the first thing right away. I shouldn't have waited in and I expected word of mouth to come to me. I should have immediately started a Google My Business page. I should have immediately started a Yelp page, promoting on Instagram, making marketing videos, but I didn't. I expected work to come to me and I expected my clients to be able to refer me to other people. So that way I did waste a lot of time. Also what I wish I would have done when I was younger, when I did start, was seek out mentorship way earlier in life. Um, I went two years without ever having my first mentor. I did a bunch of mistakes that I literally could have saved myself from. Wasted two years, um, didn't really go anywhere in business. I didn't do much. I was basically just getting by doing a lot of washes, not growing much. So I think mentorship is one of the best things that I could have done a lot earlier in my business. That's probably what I would have started with. Learning from somebody who had done it before and now that's helping me grow a lot faster. So that's pretty much what I would have done differently and that's what I would recommend to anybody else starting out as well. Best in class detailing. He says, how do you keep the beard clean? Funny enough, I just wash my face. I just shower every once in a while. That's good enough. <laughs> A top tier auto detail asks, how and what can you do for tax write-offs? I'm not a tax professional. Um, I have no say in to speak anything finances. I'm not a financial advisor. I would say speak with your financial advisor. You can talk to the compa Chris from California New Business Bureau. He is a great guy that helps me out when it comes to tax write-offs. He can recommend you something. And basically you have to speak with somebody like him, a CPA, and make sure that they help you out with that. Giovanni asks, can you give us tips on how to stay busy all week? Great question. So pretty much what I say, you know, to stay busy all week is always lead forth to service, you know, as a detailer, uh, whatever you do in life, it's really leading forth to service and be the best person, the most giving, the most generous person. That's pretty much what I like to do. You know, always give and serve and support uh, the people who support me. That's how I stay busy all week. That's what I recommend anybody else that's a detailer. And that's how you can con continue to grow your business by just giving and giving and giving without ever expecting anything in return. That's what's going to take you far in business. Tips and tricks for polishing and coating outside as the Deville detailing. Don't do it. <laughs> don't do it. If, if you can't, if you don't have to, don't do it. If you can find a garage, if you have a client that has a garage, 
please just ask to borrow their garage if they can like clear it out for a day put their car in there do it in there great if not um, use a canopy use the tent do the ceramic coating at the latest part of the day at either like once the sun is already going down or very early in the morning and don't apply the ceramic coating when the heat is super high and the ceramic coating is going to flash and it's not going to come out well i wouldn't recommend it if you can use a garage great if you can't tent so those are some great questions everybody i appreciate you asking all these questions and hopefully you got to learn a little bit more about myself and if you want to see another video like this comment down below um, any questions that you have for me and i'll make up another list and we'll talk some more um, if you want to learn more about myself my business detailing business whatever it is you want to learn ask me down below in the comments down below and subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos coming like this you want to learn more about detailing you want to learn more about techniques processes tips tricks um, detailing products testing products we're coming out with a lot more stuff so send me ideas down below hope you you guys have a great rest of your day. Take care and I'll see you guys on the next one.